How's it going, gamers? What's up? How you doing? How do we think? How you living? Me? Living pretty good. So far, Summer Game Fest was good. Xbox Showcase was good. Things are looking up. And then today, we had the Nintendo Direct in. Not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not the biggest Nintendo player. A lot of the games that were showcased, not really to my interest. I'm that support friend that I see something, I'll be like, oh, my friend would like that. The Hello Kitty game, my friend Crystal would like that. Oh, the Luigi, Mario Luigi Brotherhood game, my cousin Trickster would love that. And so on and so forth. But then, to my surprise, even though I made a tweet yesterday making a joke about, hey, it would be funny if Tasunosuke versus Capcom would drop today. I was close, <laughs> but I can't, I'm not taking credit for anything because this has been the thing for the longest time, especially Maximilian Dude making a free MVC2 hashtag for years now. Michael B. Jordan asking for a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 game to come back for the PlayStation currently, and lo and behold, Marvel vs. Capcom collection arcade classics on, on Nintendo Direct. And yes, it's coming out for the PS4. Yeah, PS4, PC, Steam, and Nintendo Switch. And my God, they're not just dropping the Marvel vs. Capcom games. They're dropping all of them. X-Men, Children of Adams, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom, Street Fighter vs. Capcom, X-Men vs. Street, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Ah. Uh, what else was it? Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, The Punisher game. That blew my mind. Seriously, wow. What a big surprise. So I already got the other Capcom fighting collection, which was freaking amazing. But this one is what everybody was. And I know I shouldn't say it, but a lot of people was into, like wanting this type of collection to come back. I even have, I rehooked up my PS3 because I got the Marvel Origin, Marvel vs. Origins. And then I got the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 digital only that got delisted. Which I also have on the 360 as well, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, delisted. And now they bring it back. It's only $49.99. Not too surprising. This is what most game fighting enthusiasts wanted. And it's finally coming to us. Sometime in 2024. I don't have an official release date. It is weird that there's no Xbox One version or no or Xbox in general. Because somebody stated that, yeah. Because this is a PS4 version that's coming out, not a PS5 version. And Microsoft is kind of phasing out the Xbox One and trying to focus more on the Xbox Series X. So it kind of makes sense because if they would have came out with a PS5 version, which I'm surprised they didn't, probably be an Xbox Series X version too. But that might come later, we hope. We hope. Because Xbox people need to get this collection as well. But my God, this is freaking amazing. And I, I can't share my enthusiasm as I had early on. But I was at work when I was watching Nintendo Direct. And when that popped up, I had to stifle myself because I was in public. I was in public pretty much with a whole bunch of people watching me. I'm watching the Nintendo Direct and Marvel vs. Capcom collection arcade classics just pops up. Talking about I'm gonna take you for a ride. I'm like, no freaking way. Roll back next. I did a whole post on my Patreon about it because Capcom sent me more details on it. And oh, my stars and guards, pure freaking perfection. Now, like I said, well, not pure perfection because I also stated that it definitely needed Aliens versus Predator and also Calyx and Dinosaurs, which was another Capcom beat em up. But the Punisher game, not so bad because. The two player aspect of the Punisher game is also going to be Nick Fury, where you're going to switch between those two. You can play as either or, but man. Yeah, we get X Men Children Adams, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, X Men vs. Street Fighter, and The Punisher. Yes, please. Now, when it comes down to the features that's going to happen, it's going to be Battle It Out Online. All the fighting games in the collection will have online ranked casual and lobby matches unlocked for players to showcase their abilities with friends, family, and other players from around the world. Robust rollback 
netcode. Online play for the collection is supported with rollback netcode for a strong and stable online experience. Be the best. Global high score leaderboards come to every game in the collection so players can track their journey to the top of the list. Practice makes perfect. Training mode comes with all fighting games in the collection so players can learn, practice, and master their moves. A rare gem, the classic beat em up arcade game, The Punisher comes to PC and modern consoles for the first time ever in the US. Watch this. Spectator mode is available so you can enjoy watching your friends and co combatants battle it out. And lastly, additional features check out the collections enhanced features like a music jukebox, in game museum, new display filters, and more. I almost spit on myself reading all that because god damn. We talking about amazing features going on right here. Now, if you if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Nothing I can say about that. But I can say this is an exciting news. And out of all direct, now I'm not going to dismiss any of the games. Many of the games in the direct is freaking amazing. I'm going to link that below. But yo, let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear your thoughts. What was your favorite thing of the Nintendo Direct? This was mine. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend to like everything that went on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm gonna do a write up, but I'm not gonna do that to you. And this video is very important for my fighting game community side of everything. Because Marvel vs. Capcom, wow, love the game. It gives me that nostalgia. It took me back to the days of the pizzeria, and I hit that move where I made Ryu turn into Ken, and then Ken turned into Dark Ryu for an ill combination. Oh, oh it's a good time. Now I got to decide on because yes, with remote play, I could take it on the go on my cell phone, get it on PS5. I might get it on both PS5 and the um, Switch. Yes, I know it's a PS4 game, but I can play it on my PS5, and that's what I have. So again, let me hear your thoughts. Metroid Prime 4. That was also a nice surprise for everybody because you remember back in the day they had to get a new developer for it, scrap the original project, and try it again. But either way, yeah. Let me focus up. Marvel vs. Capcom fighting game. Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. Arcade class. Oh, so good. Let me hear your thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for more news, previews, reviews, all that good stuff. And let me know your thoughts. Other than that, stay frosty, stay tuned, and be stout.